The Greater Pasadena Open Trophy. It's a beautiful crystal bowling pin, and that's the one Liz Johnson will be trying to take home. That'll be her second trophy in a row if she wins, but Tish Johnson has other thoughts in her head. Liz Johnson has chosen to start the match. She's going for back-to-back -back titles. She has done that twice before in her career, Carolyn, once last year and once in 97. Great come out shot by Liz. Same thing Liz said that Tish said. I was in my comfort zone the last two weeks. I took full advantage of it, used the same equipment, juggled between two or three bowling balls, and here she is again leading the tournament. by Tish. I spoke to Tish before this match started and Tish, I said, Tish, what's going on out there? You left a couple seven pins. She said the okay, right lane's fine. getting a little tighter. She's made the adjustment. Women's Sports Foundation has a, a gala dinner and I'll go into that in just a little bit, but it's coming up next Monday, October 21st at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. And each year the Women's Sports Foundation hosts that event. It's a black tie fundraiser as Tish Johnson strikes and it celebrates women's sports. Top female athletes and celebrities from around the world attend. Individual and team sportswomen of the year are named and other prestigious awards are presented. And as I mentioned, this year's event is on the 21st. So if you'd like to participate, call 800-227-3988 or you can go to womensportsfoundation.org for information on tickets. And if you can't do that, there's a auction, an online auction at WSFauction.com where you can get fantastic packages of top female athletes. And Carolyn, you were a part of that. You were one of the nominees, but unfortunately didn't make it to the final group, although you should have for your fine year last year. Well, thank you, but at least we're getting bowling out there and they're recognizing us just a little bit more. Great shop I live, this fifth TV appearance this year, third consecutive, second time, back-to-back -back weeks leading a tournament. Great shot by Liz. Liz told me before this match started. I shined up one of my bowling balls. I think they're hooking early and on the back. The only thing is this is what happened. When she throws it a little bit harder, uses a shinier ball, sometimes to carry, ring 10. Mm. Okay, we'll watch for that. And hope that there's not a, a seven with that 10. I'd put my money on it. She's made two. Well, that's Both true. Both weeks I mean, in a row. Who cares? Go for it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Good shot there. Coming back with a strike. Some of the other finishers this week. Brendan Norman. She won her first title earlier this year. Tammy Turner has been very consistent this year. And Maxine Nabel had one of the two 300s. Laura Lee Daniel, Corona, California. Consistent cashier out here. Has really made some improvements in her game. Karen Stroud. Another hometown favorite, Victoria, Texas. The Kathy Thorne, Lizzie, making a TV show last week. Consistent top 24 thing. Looks like she got that one a little bit further out. One, two board and high flush. Made the adjustment on that lane. I, still using the 15 pound ball, I asked her. Has not changed. Of course, if she is experiencing a little bit of that carry down, getting a little tighter, she wants the ball to roll a little bit more. See Tish Johnson up there, that was of the finalists tonight. Tish with 24 titles, trying to work her way up on the list. If she'd win tonight, she'd be tied with Patty Costello for 25. That'd be number four on the list of all-time titleists. Liz Johnson now trails by 30. that 10 pin you talked about, Carolyn. Another ring 10, great shot. One thing Liz, even though she's in her comfort zone, she said, one thing I gotta work on, I get too anxious. This is one of my weaknesses. When I get anxious, I get quick. I can't do that. She covers up that spare and on a somber but hopeful note, this week marked the third anniversary of PWBA member Lucy Bonneau's death from breast cancer. And ironically, we're here in the home, in her hometown area. So the Houston WBA sold breast cancer support pins and they're on sale league nights in 22 Houston bowling centers. $4 will go to the Stalin Foundation for Cancer Research and a dollar goes to the University of Houston Scholarship Fund in Lucy's name. Great competitor, great bowler. 
they've done a lot to raise money for those things, Carolyn. In fact, Storm Bowling Products made a special ball, 10 of them, with that logo, uh, the pin logo on it, and they were sponsored of the Lucy Bonneau Southwest Rich Mixed Regional Doubles, which I know you bowl them both bowl, before. Yes, and it's a great event, and Donna Connors works very hard, um, and Dynamic Lanes and David J, they, they put on a great event. Big strike. Tish has a front five right now, and she's back looking for that $10,000. we got a great event going on here, Tish. Smooth as silk, getting it out there to that one-two board, and that ball is just high flush. She's running it out, and yes, she likes it. Just want to reference that tournament did generate $27,000. Plus, we work with uh, the Susan G. Komen Foundation, and a regional there in the western region generated $20,000. So the big winner in all of this, everyone who has or will be touched by breast cancer. Career stats, 95. Wow. I'll tell you something, she's got 95 shows. I made a comment about Leanne. Tish keeps going like this. She could get to 100 this year. Mm -hmm. Now, this is Tish's first show in, in over a year. It's been a long stretch. What well, first title in over a year she'd so, be going for. It's amazing the confidence that you get once you make that first one of the year. But, yeah, it is her first one of the year, so. Mm. Liz having the qualifying average of 231. That's a pretty high average. Well, she certainly hasn't. She doesn't like lane 20 right now, which is actually where she chose to finish. Mm -hmm. Two ring 10s and then this shot. Looks like she gets it in just a little bit. Ball go, doesn't quite finish, leaves the two pin. The key here this week on the sport condition, one, two hooked. It hooked a lot. But once you got it in that little bit around that three, four, five area, there was a little bit of a puddle. Then there was more hook in the middle part of the lane. So. Yes, you could bounce it off the drive, but boy, when you hit the oil, you had to hope your ball was really going to roll the right way. Two and one for Liz Johnson, career television versus Tish Johnson, but their average is so close against each other on TV, 224 to 222. Got that one in and got a break.